Many people talk about the memory as if it's just one single thing. However, the memory is very complex. The memory is not one thing. It's not a box full with memories. It's actually a concept, a term that refers to processes and structures in the brain. Many parts of the brain play an important role with the memory, such as the hippocampus, the basal ganglia, the amygdala, amongst others. But there's also different types of memories. In this video, I won't be able to cover everything that is involved with the memory. I will only share a few basic concepts that we can apply to people with dementia. Okay, so here we go. The memory actually consists of three main stages. One, encoding. Two, storage. And three, retrieval. In order to create a memory, there needs to be an experience, a perception, an event. What we experience comes in our brain through our senses. We see it, we hear it, or we feel it, or we smell it. That all comes together in our brain, in our working memory. There, the hippocampus will play an important role to store all these elements in different parts in our brain, in the long-term memory. That's the second stage. The last and third stage is retrieval. In order to remember something, we need to retrieve that memory from our long-term memory. A memory is not a single thing. It's actually a reconstruction of different elements that are stored in different places in our brain. Imagine that our memories are stored in books and that those books are stored in a big library with different departments and different floors. The books come in through the revolving door and some books exit again, but others land on the librarian's desk. The librarian then will look at the book and use the catalogue to find the right place where to store it. The librarian is also very well able to find the books where they are stored in the library and is able to find them again. Now, imagine that the librarian is our hippocampus in our brain. The hippocampus plays a crucial role to store memories and find those memories again. In Alzheimer's disease, it's the hippocampus that is damaged and is becoming weaker and weaker. When a person forgets about what happened yesterday or just 10 minutes ago, in reality, that person didn't forget it. That information hasn't been stored in the first place. But the person can still remember what happened 40 years ago because that information had been stored and the librarian, the hippocampus, can easily find that information again. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this information and you want to receive more, please sign up on my website. You can also leave a comment or email me. Thank you so much and I hope to hear from you.